Let's, let's change the subject. Uh, we're looking at probably the hottest week in global history since records began. Yeah. Uh, not just in Europe, and Southern Europe, not just in North Africa, but in America. Uh, what they're calling these superdomes of heat. Mm -hmm. Do you think this puts a huge arrow in the quiver of Just Stop Oil, that they can mm -hmm. turn around, basically, and that they want to bring London to a halt this week? They're mm -hmm. out there this so morning. We'll be, we'll be reporting how they're doing. Do you think it puts this enormous weapon in, in their armoury? They can say, look, this is why we're doing it. Well, they would do it anyway in my view, because that because they're, they're doing it constantly every weekend, most days now. Yeah, but does this, but does this give them some Well, they will argue off. that, yeah, and I still think... Um, I still think their tactics are counterproductive. Mm -hmm. I think they lose people in their, in their argument. I mean, people will be watching the television and the radio and think, my mm -hmm. God, it's, it really is a nightmare. But just a poil, stopping people going to work and stopping amateurs yeah. getting to hospital... Do you think hospital, the promise is a help. bit contributor to climate change, Owen? Can I give you a metaphor? Imagine a fire broke out in the corner of the studio. Mm. And we said, look, I know there's a fire, we'll sort it out later, come on, come on. And your, produ your producers or your camera staff, mm. quite alarmed by this fire, they want to get our attention. They're throwing pens at us, they're throwing anything they can get to get our attention. And we're like, this is so annoying, stop throwing pens at us. This is so irritating. The point about Just Stop Oil is they are convinced by the scientific consensus, the vast majority of scientists believe this, that we are facing an existential threat. What does that mean? Our civilization is imperiled. Spain's ground temperature last week reached 60 centigrade. Do you know what that means? That's where soil goes sterile. That's when crops die. And what will happen if we don't deal with a climate emergency is we're going to lose those crops, we're going to have mass droughts, mm. and we're going to have mass famines, and a lot of people are going to die and be forced to leave their homes. When people already, they get angry about the boats arriving in our shores, what happens when people in poorer countries, their vast countries are left sterile, you have an unable to grow food? But a lot of people yeah. are watching this yeah. and will be saying, excuse me, I know all that exactly. and I accept that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm one of them. I yeah. totally accept the arguments for global warming. I think it's, they're unimpeachable. It's obviously mm. happening and we desperately need to get off fossil fuels yeah. and to renewables. We all know that, but I don't need Just Stop Oil to tell me that by stopping me coming to work. Because, yeah, exactly. Ah, but the problem I, I is... that's right. The but problem that, is that both... Is right. and, and, and the fact is, um, this, I think, contrary what they say, just up all this, we are, they are, we are doing quite a lot in this country in terms of uh, wind power and developing alternatives. And Labour, of course, are saying this with just up oil. They too, Keir Starmer is saying, mm. he doesn't approve of their tactics either. They, they are not winning, they're not winning public opinion, and you need public but, opinion. Oh, and do you think that they're attacking the right target? I mean, in this country, we're mm. pretty much off coal coal fuel mm. and energy, pretty much off it. We're investing squillions in, in wind farms. Mm. Labour have obviously announced enormously complex plans for wind farms, onshore and offshore wind farms, if, if they win the next election. And we're going to be looking at uh, a complete ban on diesel and petrol cars by the year 2030. So we're doing a heck of a lot. China, by comparison, mm. is increasing its coal-burning facilities, but... and it burns more coal per year than the rest of the world combined. Why isn't Just Stop Oil protesting outside Chinese embassies? So, just embassies? two things on that. Firstly, in this country, the government has just extended oil and gas licences. Uh, they've just cut back as well the, the money they're putting into the climate uh, transition. Labour have just scaled back on their plans as well, the £28 billion, pounds, another broken pledge, I have to say, from Keir Starmer. <laughs> if you're looking at China, by the way, you're right now, you could say they have more emissions than the United States, but it's not true per person. China has a much bigger population than the United States. Per person, the US and Britain have more emissions, but also, I mean, look, I'm not an apologist for the Chinese dictatorship, the <laughs> pleasant human rights That's abusing it. regime, but, for example, <laughs> this year alone, they have installed more solar facilities than the US has in its entire history. So they're a very mixed bag in that That's sense. I don't think Just Stop Oil aiming at China is going to work because I don't think China is going to listen to Just Stop Oil. The whole point about this country and our democracy is when people use their pressure as citizens, yeah. that puts pressure on our government to act. I know, yeah. And the when the Glaive and the Tories are failing, I, mean, I think it, that's important. You, know, if you, you only have to watch one of the videos of a driver mm. desperately saying, I need to get to work, there's a cost of living crisis, I understand what you're doing. Please don't take it out on me. And that's the point. It is a, there is a cost then, of living crisis, yeah. and every every month in our ele electric and gas bills, we're paying just, green levies, and they're expensive, well, well, and people are struggling well, to And to, so people to turn the watching you on. might say, please don't target that driver. Please do target someone in the Chinese government. Yeah. You know what? Every time I've been on the show in the last few weeks, we've talked about uh, the climate emergency because of Just Stop Oil's 
the strategy. That's yeah. the reality of what's yeah. just happened. But I, is it? But right. Okay. Uh, but I don't so you think can you get would... some on television. But you've already said both the government and the Labour Party have rolled back on yeah. the green initiative, which, which, so it's not working. Which shows exactly. All it's doing is winding everybody up and getting them talked about on television. I don't think so, because... I mean, I remember back in 2019, Extinction Rebellion wound people up. People got annoyed. They still they do. Like, fine, they still do. Fine, but do you know what happened in 2019, according to the polling? The environment went up and up mm. and up. Do you know why? Because of those tactics, mm. programmes like this... Yeah. Talked about, but and I I've, I've, talked I've, about is one and thing. And did it change actually, a single government policy? I spoke about the reality. Did it change a single government policy? Well, actually, it did put pressure. The, the government did come under pressure. I don't think they stuck to their pressure. They're doing they a lot more them. than people give but, them credit. Well, you well, and that's costing everybody but, watching this program money. And well, their it isn't taxes. actually because it what, is. just quickly on that, what the likes of Just a Pile are arguing for is things like cheaper, affordable public transport, so people don't use cars. Mm -hmm. They're talking about. A green transition, so we don't depend on gas from Russia, for example, and all and the spikes in energy costs. The whole point about a green transition is it will make bills lower and it will make our standard of living better. Well, look, you made the point about Keir Starmer and, uh, and his, his position on Just Stop Oil. What do you think he's thinking this morning about Mick Lynch of the RMT? Because mm. Mick Lynch of the RMT has gone on record as saying that uh, basically he thinks that most people can't see the difference between the Tories and Labour, and he thinks that uh, that Labour doesn't support working people. Well, look, Labour are ahead 